Uh, your next comedian, uh, by day she's a mom with a full-time job, and by night she's uh, fast asleep. Uh, give it up for Beth Steinberg. Hey, welcome everybody. Thanks for coming out. Having fun? This is a lot of fun. All right, so anyway, I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself. It is really weird with this light here, i got to say. Um, anyway, I'm 49 years old, and I, I know what some of you are thinking. Damn, she looks good for her age. Since you guys took the time during this holiday season to come out here, shell out that huge $2 to get in the door, I will share with you my looking young secret. You ready? Immaturity. Tell you, keep me looking young forever. On a good day, I may behave like I'm in my 20s. Well, when I was 44, I had my one and only child. Thank you, thank you. And then when I was 45, I had cataract surgery. Yeah. So my brain thinks that she's 23, my uterus thinks that she's 30, and my eyes think that they're 75. I'm really going through some age identity issues right now and I'm looking into some age reassignment surgery. <laughs> so as I said, I had my one and only daughter at 44 years old. Thank you, yes, give it up for my eggs. A little louder, they're kind of old. Thank you, thank you very much. And motherhood has been a really interesting experience. Um, it's been, there's been a lot, a lot of joys. I have to say my daughter's amazing. I know you all say that, but my daughter really is. And um, there's been some challenges too, right? I mean, because she's a kid. And three was freaking hell. I, after going through my daughter's third year of life, I am amazed that our species has still survived. <laughs> because I gotta tell you, there were moments when I was not sure she was gonna make it to her fourth birthday. But I'm really grateful that I did not have to spend it in prison. She is still alive, unharmed, no county involved, I can assure you. Uh, so what else? Oh, right. So are there any other moms here with full-time jobs outside of the house? All right. So you know, I'm sorry, I'm a bit sexist, but whatever. So you know how important it is to have really tight schedules, right? To manage the household and get to work, get the kids off to school. So I'm going to share some of my tips with you. This is how I do my housework. I do laundry every day that somebody goes into the drawer and pulls out their last pair of clean underwear. Yeah. There you go. Now the washing machine's broken. I'm going to have to go out and buy some new ones. Uh, I always go grocery shopping when I open up the refrigerator and the only green thing left is the mold on the leftovers. And I vacuum whenever I start to see the dust bunnies chasing the cats around the house. <laughs> Although sometimes I confuse the two, and I gotta tell you, it is not easy to get a cat out of a vacuum hose. <laughs> it's pretty damn noisy, too. So anyway, I do know that I certainly don't have the same body that I had before I had my child. I just don't know why some people feel the need to point that out like this guy Henry. So I know Henry because I sometimes pick up shifts at a Chinese restaurant. Because really by day I'm a social worker and so I have to find a way to make ends meet. <laughs> and so I go and I get some shifts at the restaurant. And the first time I came back to the restaurant after I had my daughter, Henry looks at me and he says, Beth, because he can't speak English very well, he's Vietnamese. <laughs> That's as far as I can do the accent though, I can't do anymore. And he says, when I first met you, you were so hot and sexy. Now you just look like a mother who doesn't care. <laughs> Swear to you, he said it. So as I was getting him an ice pack for his uh, freshly injured testicles, <laughs> I started thinking, huh, you know, I might be able to make this mom who doesn't care thing work for me. I thought, I could save it a whole lot of time. Wouldn't have to exercise anymore, wouldn't have to go to the gym barely have to shower, don't have to do my makeup, and then I could really have a lot of time to just devote to the true passions of my heart, sleeping and eating. 
But I will say there are some days when, you know, I still want to feel like I'm semi-attractive. So those days I, you know, put on some nice clothes or whatever's left that fits. <laughs> do my hair. I actually got my hair cut for you folks, by the way. Um, do my hair, put on my makeup, get my clothes on, get the family, get in the car, drive on over, go out to eat. And I got to tell you, as I am walking the aisles of the hometown buffet, <laughs> I am feeling really hot because I know I'm the thinnest girl in the house. <laughs> and that feels good. So thank you all. I'm Beth. I hope you have a wonderful time. And have good holidays. Keep it going for best time, you guys. Yeah.